Hi everyone and welcome to Polly'sHairBar.com. I'm here today to bring you a little bit of bad news. But first, how are you guys doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I hope all is well with everyone. But I will not be doing Wine on Wednesday videos anymore. I know. Don't hit me up on Facebook. Don't call me on the phone. Ask me why I'm not doing these segments anymore. The reason why is because I'm going to start new segments under the name of Wine Whenever. Wine Whenever. Why should we limit ourselves to Wednesday? Life goes on every day of the week. If something happens and you feel like you need a glass of wine, go for it. I am going to need a little bit of help time to time from my viewing audience. My email address is paula at pollyshairbar.com. And what I would like for you to do, if you want to, if you feel like sharing, if you get a new car, a new home, a new life being brought into the world, if you lose your job, someone out there may be able to help you find another job. You can email me. We're going to share these. Um, we're going to share the emails on Facebook Live. I'm going to let you know in advance when I'm going to go live. And we're going to celebrate everyone's success and everyone's failures. We're going to help people move along in life with information. So hopefully you will participate in that. Let's get some information out to everyone. Let's share the wealth and love that's going around out there. We need to be uplifted in these times. And I hope this is going to do it for you. I am going to be still giving you information on wine, bringing you great wines from all over. So we are still going to be drinking. Empire starts back up in March. We're going to be drinking on Wednesday nights. At least I am going to be drinking on Wednesday nights. And I will be filming any day of the week. I could be laying on the beach on Sunday drinking a bottle of wine. I'm going to share what I'm drinking. I'm going to tell you about that wine. We're still going to have the wine information going on. But I did want to add this little piece into my new segments just to lift people up. So with that being said, I am going to kick off wine whenever with some FYIs. Now, I have five questions that I'm going to be asking and I'm going to be answering the five questions. This is just informational, some things you should know before you decide you want to have a drink. I'm putting this out there. If you decide you don't want to drink, if you decide you're still going to drink, that's all good. But let's get started with these questions and you can decide for yourself when I'm finished. Number one, why do some people get drunk quicker than others? There's something called BAC blood alcohol concentration and it's measured by the amount of water that's in your body so somebody that hydrates themselves um, versus somebody that doesn't um, they're not going to feel the effects of alcohol as fast it also has to do with muscle mass and your body size and your build so there's other things that factor into that but i'm going to bring you the h2o portion of this so if you're drinking your eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day, if you are drinking half your body weight in water, you're not going to feel the effects of alcohol as quick as someone who doesn't hydrate themselves. Again, alcohol dehydrates you. Now I've been out and I've seen guys order a shot of, of liquor and they also get a bottle of water. So they're hydrating themselves. Um, when they're drinking. So the process is going to slow down from them. They can drink more alcohol and usually men can drink more alcohol anyway, but I've seen a lot of women that can hold their liquor too. So read up on it. Find out if you're someone like me who can drink a glass of wine or, you know, a, a glass of liquor and, you know, you, you get that buzz really quick. It's telling me that I need to hydrate myself, basically. Number two, does wine make you sleepy? Well, the answer to that is yes. The skin, the seeds, and the flesh of a grape, especially red grapes, carry melatonin. Melatonin is a sleep aid. So I get sleepy just laying in bed trying to read a book. But when I have that glass of wine with it, 
I actually float off in the La La Land a lot quicker, and that's the reason why. Number three, is red wine good for you? The answer is yes. Studies have shown that red wine actually dilates your blood vessels. When your blood vessels dilate, your blood pressure drops. So if you're someone with high blood pressure, if you're not on medication and you want to have a glass of wine to lower it, if, like if you're on the borderline of having it, you might want to try that. Um, I'm not saying to go out and drink. See your doctor, of course. But there's a lot of medications um, that you can't have liquor with. So again, I'm not telling you to go out and drink. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do to take care of your body. Now, here in California, you know, weed is legal. Now, weed lowers your blood pressure as well. So I'm not saying go out and smoke. I'm not saying that I smoke. I'm just saying weed lowers your blood pressure. Now, there's also something in red wines and it's called polyphenols. Polyphenols are antioxidants that um, actually have numerous health benefits. You can also po find polyphenols in foods that you eat and drink. Ground coffee, green tea, blackberries, blueberries, black currants, cinnamon, all these have polyphenols in them. So um, you might want to Google it and check and see what other foods um, have and what other drinks have polyphenols because that is an antioxidant. Now, in women over the age of 55, if you drink at least five units of red wine in a week, it protects your heart. And the way that you can tell if you're drinking five units, you look at your standard bottle of 750 milliliters. This is normally a 10 unit bottle. So if you drink half of this bottle in a week, it has benefits to protect your heart. And again, that's in women over the age of 55. I'm not telling you my age. I wanted to bring this up. This wine here is, you can see through it. And when I was telling you about how red wine has the polyphenols in it, the darker the wine, the more polyphenols that are in that. This wine here doesn't have a lot. So what you wanna do is get you a full bodied um, dark red wine and that's gonna carry more of your polyphenols in it. Number four, is alcohol a carcinogen? Now, a carcinogen is a substance that's capable of causing cancer in living tissue, just like tobacco and tobacco smoke. Yes, alcohol is a carcinogen, but you have to consume a lot of liquor over a long period of time in order for that to take effect. So if you're something, if this is something that concerns you, see your doctor, um, Google some more information, make yourself knowledgeable in this area. If, have you ever heard any of your friends say, I don't drink wine, um, it gives me a headache? Well, there's a reason for that, especially if you're drinking red wine. And that is because there is a concentration, a higher concentration of these things called congeners. Now, congeners um, is a byproduct of the fermentation process that goes on in wine but it also is in dark liquor. So basically, if you drink brandy, bourbon, whiskey, any dark liquor, or if you drink red wine, you're gonna find more of these toxins in that. White wines and clear liquors like gin and vodka, they don't carry as many of these toxins. So definitely make yourself a little um, familiar with that. And again, just some FYIs, if you're still going to drink, of course, drink responsibly. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.